Hi family, it's your girl, Attorney Brunel Donald Che. Just wanted to let you guys know I finished my fourth workout of the week. It's with the Jump Rope Dudes. I had started out with the Jump Rope Dudes last June, believe it or not. And I kind of fell away from it, got into Mr. London and Real Body Project and kind of stuck with those. But something looped me back around the Jump Rope Dudes again. And so it's basically a very horrendous, horrible, diabolical, tiring body shaping jump rope 20 minutes of it and yeah it's not for the week i tell you you have to really have a strong mind say hello i'm maliha Aya. say hi maliha go ahead, go ahead. Bob Gord, say look i have destroyed my mother's blinds go ahead, go ahead. yeah so anyways go ahead, go ahead. it's it's not for the week it's not for the week mm -hmm. at all you have to be mentally ready to go there and just get it, get through it. And it's not just straight jump rope. It's jump rope. It's push-ups. It's sit-ups. It's, um, you know, just a whole lot of different type of things. And sometimes it's four sets of that. And today I, I want to say I did about, oh my God, Ooh, let's say about 60 push-ups, including the, the work, the jump rope, the jump, jumping rope and stuff. And so, um, I'm getting stronger and, you know, I'm telling you my heart, my body, it's my body's just like, what are you doing to me? Every time I get used to one kind of workout, I try to look for another workout, another workout, another way that my body hasn't been pushed so that my, the weight will continue to come off, that it won't just sit used to a certain workout. So I don't just do one workout. I do different workouts, like. Real Body Project is more core, I mean, more um, more cardio, okay? It's just like the jump rope, but, you know, with uh, Real Body Project, there's no jump rope. With the jump rope, dudes, it's it's a jump rope, it's sit-ups, it's push-ups, okay? And then I go to Mr. London, which is basically fully, um, you do a little warm-up, cardio warm-up, but mostly it's resistance, it's core workouts. And so... Um, when I'm the, the the body, when I'm in the body that that I know that I can have, that I can, that I'm supposed to be in, that I should have been in a long time ago, when I'm in that body, um, everything underneath what I'm working off is going to show the work that I've been doing, and so I just keep going into it. Um, right now, like I've said before, it's four days a week, and that's what I've stuck to four days a week. And um, God willing, mentally, I'll get to five days a week. Never know. I may ever, I may end up at seven days a week. I don't know. But what I do know is that when I'm 80, I still want to be walking around. I still want to be able to jump rope. I still want to be able to run. I want to still be able to party and dance with my husband and my children and play with my grandkids and run with them, jump with them, play with them. Not being wheeled around or, you know, uh, on an oxygen tank or anything like that. And I'm not knocking anybody who is, but I'm just saying... I know how I want to be. I want to be doing the Lord's work with all my might, all my strength until he calls me home. And so I just wanted to um, tell you guys that. And let's not forget, I am two months from my 46th birthday. Did you hear me? 46. I will be 46. Say it with me. 46. And so, um, again, these workouts are not about losing weight. It's not just about losing weight anyways. It's not about getting weight, most, most weight off I can get as fast as I can. No. It's a lifestyle change. That means I'm still going to eat some of the things I like. Like today, I'm going to eat some lemon cake with my baby girl for her graduation. That was yesterday. Um, I'm, I had a donut earlier. And I don't feel bad about eating those things anymore because I'm not eating them every day. I'm not, you know, you know, eating 10 of them or 20 of them or two of them. I'm just um, understanding that it's a lifestyle change, and that's what I'm doing. Y'all like my little twist outs? Mm hmm. Looking like Rastaman vibration. Yeah, positive. <laughs> Looking like Bob Marley's uh, step cousin, baby mama, nephew, sister, cousin, brother, niece. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for the support. God bless you and your family. God bless America. Bye for now.